Let's solve another thermodynamic uh, problem requiring us to apply an energy balance to a closed system. So we are given a closed rigid tank filled with water, initially at 20 bar, a quality of 80%, and a volume of 0.5 cubic meters. And uh, it is cooled until the pressure is 4 bar. Show the process of the water on a TV diagram and evaluate the heat transfer in kilojoules. Well, let's lay out our storyboard for this problem. I'm going to draw a schematic of a rigid tank and draw a boundary line around the system I want to define, which will just be the water molecules. The tank will not be part of our system. Um, the system undergoes a cooling process from state one to state two. And state one is given as a pressure of 20 bar. It has a quality of 80%, so we know it's starting out as a saturated mixture. And the volume of the tank, which is a constant, is 0.5 cubic meters. Now, state two, um, the pressure is four bar, so the pressure has been lowered. But the volume of state two is equal to the volume at state one. The volume doesn't change, of course. Let's draw this on a TV diagram. So state one, we know it's a saturated mixture, so it's underneath the vapor dome. And let's lay in a constant pressure line and we'll call that 20 bar. And the quality at state one is 80%. So I'm gonna draw state one here on this 20 bar pressure line, all over here on the right side of the vapor dome because the quality is 80%. Now, this process takes, ta takes place in a rigid tank, so the volume cannot change. And it's a closed system, so the mass cannot change. Therefore, the specific volume cannot change. So this process has to take place on a vertical line. And I know it's a cooling process where the pressure at state two is four bar, which is less than 20 bar. So I'm gonna draw my four bar pressure line here. And state two is gonna be on that pressure line uh, directly underneath state one. So both of these states are saturated mixtures. I know the quality of state one, but I do not know the quality of state two. We'll model this as a closed system, of course, um, with delta Ke and delta Pe assumed to be zero. It's a constant volume process. It's actually a constant specific volume process. And because it takes place in a rigid tank, which has no mechanism for doing work, um, the work done during this process is also zero. And we wish to find the heat transfer. Let's begin by finding um, the properties of a specific volume and internal energy at state one. We will find those in the saturation table at 20 bar. The uh, V sub F and V sub G are given, and the uh, U sub F and U sub G are given in the table. And I put a subscript of one here on the uh, F and G to indicate that this is for state one. To, uh, we're gonna have state two values uh, coming up later, and I want to distinguish between them. So now we can calculate the specific volume of the mixture at state one. Well, it's just uh, V sub F plus the quality times V sub G minus V sub F, all state one properties. We can insert the values that we have from our table. And we'll calculate that the specific volume at state one is 0 0.07994 cubic meters per kilogram. We can now do the same for finding the internal energy at state one. We can say the internal energy is U sub F plus the quality times U sub G minus U sub F. All of these, again, at state one properties. So they came from the table here. Inserting those values into this equation, we will calculate that the internal energy at state one is 2261.5 kilojoules per kilogram. Now let's find the same properties for state two. 
So we'll go back to the saturation table, but now we'll be looking at four bar instead of 20 bar. And in that table, we'll get V sub F and V sub G, U sub F and U sub G, and I will notate them with uh, a two to indicate that these are U sub F and U sub G, V sub F and V sub G for state two. We now can find the quality at state two. We know the specific volume at state two is the same as state one, and it was um, calculated to be 0.07994 cubic meters per kilogram. Therefore, the quality at state two is just its specific volume times, or excuse me, specific volume minus V sub F over V sub G minus V sub F. Again, all of these properties are state two properties. So I calculate that the quality of state two is 0.1709. Now that we know the quality of state two, we can calculate the internal energy. The internal energy at state two is just U sub F plus the quality times U sub G minus U sub F. The two here indicating that all of these properties to be taken as state two properties. I can insert those values into this equation and I calculate that U2 is 937.44 kilojoules per kilogram. Now I can apply the first law to this process one two. The first law reduces to delta U equals Q minus W when I ignore kinetic and potential energy terms. A rigid tank has no mechanism for doing work, so that becomes zero, and I end up with just delta U is equal to Q and I can rewrite delta U as the mass times the change in specific internal energy. Well, we don't know what the mass is, but we know that mass is volume divided by specific volume. And I've noted here that I'm gonna use state one properties, but really I could use state two properties because they're all identical. The volume at state one is equal to the volume at state two. And the specific volume at state one is equal to the specific volume at state two. So there's really only one value for volume and specific volume. So the mass is therefore the volume, which was 0.5 cubic meters, divided by the specific volume, which is 0.07994 cubic meters per kilogram. And that provides a mass of, the of uh, water in the tank at 6.255 kilograms. Well, now I can solve for the heat transfer. Q is equal to the mass, 6.255 kilograms, times U2 minus U1. Solving, I get a value of Q is equal to minus 8,282 kilojoules. The negative, of course, indicating that energy was removed from the system via heat transfer during this process.